Zun, when it comes to uh, you know people as someone who is from another country who lived in China for the past three years uh, during the pandemic, uh, what's your experience? I mean, how challenging is it? And uh, you know, what, what's your sense about the, being safe or being unsafe uh, in terms of uh, uh, the, the virus or infection? Chindu, there's so much to unpack on this. You know, one of the things I started doing when initially. Uh, China was considered the hotspot, you know, initially when the cases brought in, broke out in Wuhan was to try as best as I could uh, become one of the many voices coming out of China to global media to help them understand we over here are feeling safe. What China is doing is indeed setting a precedent for countries to deal with the extraordinary situation that has obviously, you know, uh, come about. And it's a global challenge in that sense. So over these years, I mean, if I also in retrospect look at uh, some of the unfortunate phases that many countries, including my own, went through, for example, the Delta variant, the way it was a self-help uh, situation for many, and so many lives in the process were lost. Were lost. Many frontliners, you know, share their stories in other parts of the world where they felt as if there is a lack of control or a lack of prioritization of how to contain the the situation and in china we saw that consistently you know not only was there a sensible way of you know a, a, a country level policy to manage resources on a nationwide level to do smart lockdowns where required and to absolutely ensure that people felt safe this set an example for many countries across the world. And of course, we know that in 2022, the, the variant was much more contagious. The extent of you know people having to stay home increased, but at no point did people feel unsafe. At no point did people feel that you know they're on their own and they have to deal with this on their own. And of course, I mean, the way China has opened up, the way China has uh, you know moved past the, uh, the zero COVID policy, also took months of planning, which is why we see that within two months, things are back in motion. And today we are talking about not having to wear masks in schools, not having to worry about, uh, you know, falling sick and seeing that people are traveling a lot inbound and outbound. So I obviously felt safe. And I see that there are countries across, especially developing countries that learned a lot throughout these three years from China's policies and from the way China has managed uh, this entire uh, this challenge indeed.